Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the honorable invitation to President Thierry Bode and Representative Frederick Janssen. It's a pleasure to me to, he to be here with you. These are times. Thank you. These are times when the nations of Europe are facing unprecedented challenges. The demographic situation of our continent and the pressure of migration have been accompanied by the now unconcealed intention of the WHO to create a world government. I come from a country, Hungary, whose borders are besieged every day by illegal immigrants who are, in fact, not refugees. Their mass arrival threatens European culture, the standard of living that our people have worked for, public safety, and the future of our children. If the EU continues with the policy it has pursued so far of letting them in, it, is, it will result in the disappearance of our nations and loss our identity. But it is a value. I believe it is a value for us to be Hungarian and for you to be Dutch. We have a culture and ultimately it shows us who we are. And if we want to protect it and pass it on our, onto our children, the globalists will attack us and stigmatize us. But it is not enough to fend off these attacks. We must find a recipe for how our society can sustain itself. I am the mother of four children. And the, and the vice, vice president of the Hungarian parliament. I work every day to ensure that more children are born in our countries and that we do not replace the children who should be born in Europe with immigrants. Unfortunately, we are not doing well, and the Hungarian government, which is considered, considered family friendly in Europe, has also started to resettle Asian and African guest workers, thereby endangering the cultural unity of Hungary and the security of the Hungarian people. At the same time, it's not enough to encourage childbearing with greater financial incentives. It is necessary, but not sufficient, because there is also an ideological battle going on. The LGBTQ lobby is attacking the family so strongly that it can influence a lot of people, unfortunately. And yet, just as our national identity has meanings, so does our role in family. Mother and father are not just empty words, but a vocation and a mission lived out in everyday life. It is the most important and exciting challenge of our lives. The other danger and insidious ideology of liberalism is the deliberate childlessness, which has caused unimaginable damage in Hungary in, one in just one generation. In 1990, the proportion of childless women aged 30 was 13%. Now it is 56%. But it is not, not just our economy, our public safety, our families, our identity that they want to destroy but the WHO is preparing to build a global dictatorship that has never even been attempted before. They are planning to adopt treaties that will impose brutal restrictions on the sovereignty of nation states. If these, if these are implemented, an Ethiopian Marxist terrorist, Tedros Ghebreyesus, will have the say on whether to declare a state of emergency in countries around the world, including the Netherlands and Hungary. Is this the future we want for our own nations? No! 
the WHO also plans to give them the power to overrule the decisions of nation, nation states on health measures. And if that were not enough, they could in some cases have control over national resources. They can get our health data and even introduce a global health card. The WHO does all this by openly funding Big Pharma. It is clear, therefore, that the aim is not to protect people's health, but to promote the interests of global pharmaceutical companies, if we let it. But we have a chance. Ladies and gentlemen, you are soon about to vote. You have a chance. Because, by the way, at the UN General Assembly in September, 11 countries said no to the WHO dictatorship. But unfortunately, the bad news is that neither the Netherlands nor Hungary were among them, nor any EU member state. Among them was the much criticized Russia, for example. By voting for the FVD, you can show that you do not accept globalist dictatorship. My party, the Our Homeland Movement, has been at the forefront of this struggle in Hungary. We are collecting signatures, and two weeks ago, I confronted Prime Minister Viktor Orban with the facts, and he did not say a word in response to this part of my speech. But we cannot fight this war alone. We need each other's alliance. That is why it is so important that we have also published in Hungarian the book by FVD President Thierry Bode on the COVID, which is <laughs> to clap it, yeah. What more, which is the best seller on the biggest online bookseller in Hungary. <laughs> And all this while globalists try to hide even its existence. The first edition sold out in a month. The second one is already in the printers. So congratulations, Mr. President. President, the figures speak for themselves. But it is not only the parties and politicians who have a job to do, but all of us. The most important thing for you is to send a message to the globalists by voting for the FVD. You do not want their dictatorship. And we, <laughs> and we must also show those around us that we are not afraid. And we must also convince our friends, relatives, that this is the only way we can survive. So, my dear Dutch friends, be proud to be Dutch. Your culture... <laughs> your culture is precious, your country is beautiful. Protect it to, for your children and grandchildren. God bless you. God bless our nations. Thank you.